Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, a B-25 Mitchell crashes in California, Amp Air flies its second hybrid electric prototype, and United pilots reach an agreement to prevent furloughs. I'm Sophie Herlock, a World War II generation Mitchell bomber crashed down in Central California near Stockton yesterday, causing serious damage to the airframe and injuring the three people on board. The aircraft, a 1944B25J registered to Pro Air Holding Company of New York, went down just short of an airport into an open field, where it appears to have struck an irrigation ditch. Two of the people on board the aircraft were transported to the local hospital with non-life-threatening injuries, and the third was able to walk away. The FAA and the NTSB will be investigating the crash, and the San Joaquin County Sheriff's Office has been in communication with them both. The aircraft had previously been damaged in a forced landing accident near Reno, Nevada back in 1987. It then underwent an extensive 18,000-hour restoration before it flew again in September of 1995. We'll be right back with Around the Patch. If it looks good, it usually flies good. The Bristel series of aircraft is proof of that. Furthering their legacy of safety and efficiency, Bristel is proud to feature the Rotax 915 IS Turbo in the current lineup of aircraft. The 915 IS Turbo power plant offers more power than ever before in a light sport aircraft. Learn more about Bristel at www.sportflyingusa.com. Affordable and economical, Pipistrol is proud to present the Alpha Trainer. The aircraft can use as little as 2.5 gallons per hour in a flight school setting, with multiple students and instructors each day. This means that 13.2 gallons of fuel can effectively give you as much as 5 hours of endurance. Learn more about what the Pipistrol Alpha Trainer can do for you at pipistrol-usa.com. Swift Fuels proudly introduces the Forever Avgas STC. One simple upfront purchase entitles the Forever STC certificate holder to receive all current and future Avgas STCs that the FAA issues to Swift Fuels. The best part? It's priced today at only $100, and the prepaid certificate never expires. Get your Forever Avgas STC today at swiftfuelsavgas.com. Welcome back, it's time for today's trip around the patch. Avidyne has received STC approval for the IFD 540 multifunction flight management system in Citation 560 Excel XLS aircraft equipped with Primus 1000 electronic flight instrument systems. The IFD 540 and all Avidyne IFD series multifunction flight management systems feature Avidyne's GPS legacy aviation system option, enabling a direct LPV capable interface to legacy Primus 1000 or ProLine 21 avionics systems in business aircraft without the exorbitant cost of external adapter boxes or FS factory upgrades. NASA has signed a $15 million HCARE Infinite Full Availability Support Solution with Airbus Helicopters, the comprehensive contract initially covering two years with the option to extend up to 10, provides the entire spectrum of support needs for NASA's fleet of three H-135 helicopters, which will begin deliveries later this month. Airbus will ensure operational availability by managing all of NASA's scheduled and unscheduled maintenance as well as spare parts. In addition, Airbus will be responsible for the helicopter's flight operations by stationing two pilots, mechanics, and one program manager at NASA's Kennedy Space Center. Cordine's next version of their professional pilot logbook software, Log10 Pro, is now ready for Apple devices and alongside backups to the iCloud, users can now connect their logbooks to Dropbox. Dropbox backups can be quickly created and viewed and include identifying data like the date, total number of flights at the time of backup, file size, and total flight hours. Backups can be saved as often as desired and restored in seconds if needed. SmartSky Networks has defeated industry incumbent GoGo's challenge brought before the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office nearly six months ago, proving SmartSky's position that its 947 patent, which covers most of the essential features of a 5G air-to-ground network like beam forming and seamless cell tower handoffs, was and shall remain valid. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. 
If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Introducing the new ELT-345 from Artex. This emergency locator transmitter, or ELT, boasts an industry low price, while providing the same quality and performance on which the Artex brand was built. GPS data is embedded within the first emergency transmission and provides search and rescue personnel with the aircraft location within 100 meters in less than a minute. Take to the skies knowing that you have the highest performing and reliable equipment on board. View our selection of ELTs and safety products at www.artex.com. Artex, your best last chance. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. On September 10th, Ampere's second hybrid electric technology demonstrator, a refined version of its Cessna 337 electric eel aircraft conversion, successfully flew for 35 minutes. The company calls this new flight test aircraft the Hawaii Bird, as it will be flown by Ampere and Mokalele Airlines pilots on air routes in Hawaii later this year, in a series of demonstration flights. When the aircraft flies on Maui, it will be the first time an electrically powered aircraft has flown under an FAA market survey experimental aircraft certificate in order to gain real world flight experience. The company expects to leverage knowledge from the 337 conversion program into retrofits of larger regional aircraft that could enter service in just a few years. The Hawaii Bird is powered by a conventional combustion engine, a 310 horsepower Continental IO 550 in the tail, and a 200 kilowatt capable electric motor in the nose. Limited in this application to 120 kilowatts. In the second conversion, the aircraft's battery pack has been relocated from the side cabin to the underside of the fuselage and enclosed in a composite aero-optimized shell. An aircraft such as Ampere's Electric Eel can cut direct operating costs and emissions by 40 to 50 percent versus conventional aircraft. The elected union leaders of the United Pilots represented by the Airline Pilots Association, have reached a tentative agreement with United Airlines management that addresses the imminent furlough threat to more than 2,850 pilots. The pilots elected leadership voted unanimously to send the agreement for full pilot membership ratification after determining the agreement met the goals of preventing pilot furloughs until June of 2021, offering a second round of early separation options for all pilots age 50 and over with 10 years experience, adding restrictions on express carrier flying and securing triggers for a pay raise and additional permanent contract modifications that improve work conditions for all United pilots. On the tentative agreement, United Pilot Union Chairman Captain and Todd Insler stated, This TA underscores our commitment to all 13,000 United pilots and represents the importance of creative solutions needed to mitigate massive layoffs for our pilots. Historically, United pilots have taken care of each other in everything from assisting with COBRA payments to pilot for Louise to the most senior pilots opting to take early retirement. And that's it for today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed today's episode, be sure to like and subscribe and to check us out on Facebook and on Twitter. You can also get the latest aviation and aerospace news any time of the day at aero-news.net. I hope you had a great start to your week. I'll see you right back here on Wednesday.